Using single-use codes. Single-use coupon codes are the safest and most efficient way of giving your customer a discount. However, that comes with a slightly more complicated process as you need to use a tool to distribute the codes. The good news is that the two options we are going to suggest are not that difficult to implement. And we are going to be collecting our customer's email with both of them. But first, let's go to Amazon and learn how to create our single-use codes. Okay, so I'm logged into Seller Central and I've gone to the Advertising Promotions page. Now, we're pretty much going to do exactly what we did for the universal codes. We're going to leave Buyer Purchases at 1. With Purchased Items, I'm not going to go through creating a new product selection again because obviously that was in the lesson about creating a universal code. So I've just selected the one I created then. Again, you must change Buyer Gets to Money Off. Do not use Percentage. So again, I'm going to use $18 because I'm assuming the price is $19.99 and I want to give a discount code so the customer can buy it for $1.99. Applies to, we can leave that alone, and the advanced options. Then we set the dates. Now what's interesting here is you can actually make the date range as big as you want because essentially you can come back to it later and use exactly the same promotion and download new single-use codes. So I normally make this for a few months, so I've made this October the 31st. And this is another advantage of using single-use codes. You can set up multiple promotions like this all for different amounts and then when you want to use one for that amount you just need to come in and download a new set of codes instead of setting up a whole new promotion. So for the internal description I've, I've just called it silicon spatula single use 18 I'm going to leave the tracking ID. As I said before you can change this if you wish. And then we'll scroll down to additional options. Now this time instead of choosing group we're going to choose single use and again very important select one redemption per customer. Now there's not going to be a code this time because we're using single use codes. Again, claim code, combinality, we leave that at exclusive, and then we click on customize messaging. Now the difference you'll notice this time is the detail page display text is actually off by default and is actually blocked out so it can't be used, which is exactly what we want. We don't want it showing up on our listing. So once that's done, you click on review. Again, you go through it all, check it all matches. And remember again, I didn't mention it this time, the start date, it normally takes four hours for this to go live. Then once you're happy with everything, you just click Submit. And there we go, the promotion has been created. Now we can actually download our single use codes now even though the promotion isn't live. But you must remember, it won't be going live probably for another four hours. So to download your codes, you click on Manage Your Promotions. And I've selected Pending because obviously this one hasn't gone live yet. And then all you need to do is click on the Tracking ID title. Now, as I showed you before, we've got six tabs up here. And we use this to end the promotion. But what we're actually going to do now is we're going to click on Manage Claim Codes. Now, in the group name, you can give it any name you like. I'm just calling it Spatula One because so I know that it's the first time I've downloaded codes from here. And the quantity, I'm going to put 100. Now, you can put any amount in here you want. But remember, you can always come back and create more. And then I'm going to click on Create. Now, you can see there it's in progress. This normally takes a few seconds. To see if I can speed this up, I'm going to go back to View Promotion, click on Manage Claim Codes again, and there it is. You've now got a Download button. So click on Download. You can see there on the left, it's downloaded it. It downloads it as a zip file, and then what you need to do is obviously unzip it. Once you open it, you'll see you've got your 100 coupon codes. These are all single-use codes, and you want to just leave them in the file for now, and you're going to use them with the plugin for the WordPress site or for the hosted service and you will just copy and paste them in, but we're going to show you that. Now, as I said, if you want to create some more, you would just give it a different group name, select the quantity, click Create, and then when the file's ready, download it. And that's how simple it is to create single-use codes. Now, if you've created a WordPress site, then there is a plugin that automates the process for you and creates a landing page. Now, there is a one-time fee for this plugin, and we have negotiated a discount for you, and you can see that in a link below this lesson and the plugin is provided by amzcouponserver.com. There is also a web-based service which also helps you build a landing page and distribute the single-use codes. Now, while this is not the only service out there that is hosted, it is one we have used and can vouch for. The service is called amzpromocentral.com and it has complete instructions on how to use it. The difference with this and the WordPress plugin is the landing page will be hosted by them on their site and not on your own site. Now, personally, we think the WordPress site and plugin are the best option, mainly because you control every step and it is on your own site. Remember, you can get a WordPress site built for less than 
and it does not have to be your brand website. So if you've already got a brand website and it's a HTML based site, then you can always go and buy a domain name and create a WordPress site on that domain. For instance, you could use a domain name like kitchencouponsanddeals.com, something along those lines, but don't make it sound too much like it's a spam site. And then just use that for your landing pages and nothing else. Now, because we recommend the WordPress plugin option, I am going to walk you through using the plugin in the next lesson. And you're also going to be learning more about your list in a later lesson too. So now you've learned how to create single use codes and how you're going to be using them. In the next lesson, you will learn how to set up the plugin on a WordPress site to deliver your single use coupon codes and capture your customer's email. But that's it for this lesson. Take care.